trading view? Because what I've got set up, this is another question we get asked a lot, um, particularly about the indicators. And, you know, can I apply them to this market and that market? And VPA. And VPA. And what I've got set up here is Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. You know, can I use volume to trade cryptocurrencies? And the short answer is yes. It's what we always say. If you've got a chart with price on it and volume, then you can trade using volume price analysis. And this is Bitcoin on TradingView with our indicators. This is the five minute. This is the 10 minute. This is the 15 minute. And this is the 20 minute. And as you can see, what have we got? Well, um, let's just choose one of these uh, and put that up full size. There we go. Oh, actually, let, let me leave them on, on the multiples because it's easier to look at. There we go. Let's just pop that back down there. We've got volatility triggers. Now, I can guarantee you that an awful lot of crypto traders would have jumped in here and you know they'd be buying like crazy and now they're regressing that decision for the time being because we're in congestion. So we've got the volatility trigger here. Ton of volume in under here, nice volume, in it goes and reverses into congestion. Exactly the same thing over here, lots of volume coming in, reverses into congestion. If you look at the volume here, what have we got? Well, we've got a market that's, uh, yes, it's weakness here, it's confirmed, decent volume there, but we've actually got a falling volume here. So we've got a falling market under falling volume. So from a, a inverted commas, longer term perspective, what we're seeing there is an aspect of volume price analysis, which Anna referred to earlier on, which is about understanding the difference between primary to primary and whether the pullback reversal you're seeing is actually a secondary or whether it is actually truly a reversal in trend. In other words, from bearish to bullish or bullish to bearish. And it's just a nice little example here where you're seeing falling volume and falling price. So that's suggesting that this market is, is not going to uh, reverse the downside with a, a, a big rally reversal. In other words, primary bullish to primary bearish. It's just going to trade into congestion and the trend monitor is starting to signal back into bullish price action again. But it just gives you a sense that whatever you are trading, whatever the market, you can apply volume price analysis. This is Bitcoin. It could be uh, any other of the cryptocurrencies. It can be um, anyone you care to name. As long as there's volume on the chart, it will work. Let's just pop that out of the way. Let's just see what's going on in terms of VIX. It's still tracking down. There we go. And now what we're starting to see, we're starting to see that CAD yen come off a little bit now. You can see it here on the uh, on the currency array. Just starting to tick off the highs here. It's ticking a little bit lower there. Let's just have a quick wrap up on the charts. There we go. Let's just see what's happening. And it's starting to develop that reversal opportunity. But what you also want to see is you want to see that reflected in sentiment. You want to see it reflected in oil. You want to see it reflected in the VIX because otherwise it's a high risk proposition trade. 